Okay, in our snake exhibit, as well as finding the native snakes, you're going to find the non-native snakes, uh, the exotic snakes from other parts of the world. One such snake is this Burmese python, referred to as an invasive species, because it is established here in South Florida. It is actually established and breeding here in Florida. And it is causing us a great deal of problems here in South Florida because of its diet. It's eaten the small rodents that you would expect, like your raccoons, possums, rats but as also we have found the in the stomach of one we have found a bobcat so they are eating the larger mammals uh, birds and most surprisingly they are eating reptiles they're actually eating our american alligator as well but this one right here is your south american boa and it is found in several different areas where it has established itself uh, primary diet of that here in florida seems to be uh, birds rats and even raccoons all right, here we are at the Everglades Alligator Farm. What I have here in my hand is called a common green iguana. Now, iguanas are basically found in Mexico, Central America, and South America. They've been introduced to the United States probably in the late 1500s when a lot of Spanish ships sailed between South America and Florida. Now, in their indigenous countries, the population of iguanas have dropped tremendously in the probably in the past 10 years. And these animals here are a primary food source for most people in Latin America. But here in the United States, many of them were kept as pets. They were also brought here as food, but most of them wound up escaping. And now we have wild populations of iguanas living in the state of Florida. There are probably more iguanas here than there probably are in some of their native habitats. So we do have lots of green iguanas. These are one of the larger lizards as well. Iguanas can grow up to about six feet and weigh close to 30 pounds. What I have here is a South American tegu. Now tegus were introduced to the United States back in the late 1970s. Now a lot of these animals were kept as pets. A lot of people wound up losing them during hurricanes and probably were irresponsible in the ownership of these animals. Now this lizard here is a well-established lizard in the environment of Florida. So no matter where you go in the state of Florida, you might see a tegu running around. The tegus belong to the skink family. We do have native skinks here in Florida as well, but they don't get as large as the South American tegu. The South American tegu can grow up to about four or five feet when it's full grown. Now, being a carnivorous lizard, this lizard here will actually eat eggs, which makes them a nuisance to birds, alligators, turtles, and other animals that are indigenous to this environment. So, they'll also attack other animals, like uh, baby animals, and uh, they'll eat baby possums, baby squirrels, and things like that as well. So, a large one can actually eat a large squirrel. So, you want to be very careful if you happen to come across one of these because they can't actually take a finger off. They have very, very sharp teeth and a very, very powerful jaw. So do watch out for the South American tegus running around here in South Florida.